Hey, welcome back. We're going to do something really cool with elemental buttons. I'm talking about how can we create a skew effect on the button rather than using rounded borders. Stay tuned and this will make total sense. So we've got an elemental button, nothing fantastical here, right? I've even increased the font size on it just so you could clearly see it. And we have the right angle borders on it at the moment. Now, the most you can sometimes do with elemental is you could, if you want, give it some rounded borders. Let's just go with 50. Pretty simple and easy, right? Or we could unlink it and I could do something like this. So I could go with, uh, say, 100 on the top and for the bottom, we go with 100. So I've got a bit more of like a like a more of a unique bespoke look. The trouble is, though, it's not a perfectly skewed kind of look, almost like a parallelogram, par parallelogram. Try saying that really quick because you've still got the curvature. Now, to sort this out, it's so simple. You're going to be like, was that all it was? Well, this is what you got to do. For your button, you go to the advanced, you go to the custom CSS, and you are going to dump in this code. Watch what happens to that button as soon as I dump the code in. Ding! Do you see it? It moved. We've now got a bit of 15 degree skewing going over on the button. Dead, dead simple, right? If I go over here and I change this to be uh, 35, we get more of a skew effect. And if I take away the negative number, it goes the other way. So you can control where the skew is. Now, when you increase it, the wording inside will also skew and it almost looks italic. In actual fact, you're skewing it. But down here, whatever value you put above, so if you've got negative 35, put a positive 35 to offset it. So I'm going to change that to be 35. And if we had a positive up here like that, you would put a negative down here to basically offset it. OK, I hope that makes sense. So we're doing a bit of offsetting there. You just got to make sure the numbers match basically. And that is it. You now have a skewed button and you can change it in terms of the angle, make it, well, you can make it bigger, smaller, more kind of parallelly or however you want it. And you are still doing the full on elemental buttons. So we're still doing everything like I can change the, uh, the styling. I can go to hover and give it a completely different styling for when you hover over it. And I can go to padding. So in sorry, normal padding. And I'm going to say, give me five from the top, five from the bottom and give me, I don't know, give me 50 and 50 like that. OK, you can be as stylish as you want with it. And if you really, really want, if I now go to, say, over here, which will be the right, if I put in a 50, look at that. I mean, we're now starting to do something completely bespoke here, right? I mean, this is now like. A bizarre looking button, but you can still mess around with the border radius and you can still add in a shadow and whatever you want. But this is a really simple, easy, super way to do your skewing of your button. And here's the code. OK, and the code will be in the description so you can go ahead and have fun with it. I hope you like, subscribe, share and follow. Hey, come and see us again next time.